everyone, welcome to my channel, Procrastinating Renaissance Soul. I am doing today's update as I am driving home uh, from my eight or how many, how many weeks? Eight weeks. Eight weeks, I just said that. My eight week appointment with my surgeon and um, update on my weight. So this morning when I weighed, um, I was 214.8. I know last week I was 217.8, so that's a three pound drop. But overall, it is a 1.2 pound drop from my lowest, which was two weeks ago. So, probably got through that weird little uh, stall that is was going on or whatever. Um, my surgeon looked at my belly button where I had the seroma and said there was hypergranulation. So I had to had this tissue that was growing. So when you have, I guess, an incision that opens, they want it to heal from the inside out. The incision now forms tissue, connective tissue to close it up. So the connective tissue, I guess, has been growing but it started to come out the top of the incision. So he placed um, some silver nitrate on the tissue that was sticking out. So I believe it kills that tissue off so it stops growing. And then once that is healed, I believe I will be all healed up in the belly button area, we'll see. I don't know if this is going to present any like future problems. I don't think, I think it's more towards the surface where I won't have to worry about it. But I had a, uh, a thought, I'm like, well, when I get a tummy chat done, cause it will happen by some, at some point, once I lose the weight I want to lose, you know, and they move that belly button, is it gonna, well, they don't move the belly button, but you know, they place the belly button up higher keep the belly button stuff there during surgery plastic surgery <sighs> so I wonder if like it will mess up how the future belly button look I didn't ask my doctor that because I'm not there yet in my journey to worry about plastic surgery so um, oh but I'm thinking about it I'm thinking hard about it um, I'm leaning definitely leaning towards getting the full on mommy makeover my tummy tuck breast lifted and probably a Brazilian butt lift where they take the fat out of your waist and your back and they stuff it in your butt because I don't have a butt I would like to do that a lot so anyways tangent as usual um, but all in all, I think it was a really good appointment. He says I'm right where he wants me to be. Um, BMI, he said it was 37, but that was with my clothes on. So, clothes off this morning with my weight that I did, did was BMI 36.1 now. Um, I'll have the exact number um, down below on the information. Part of the video overall week I felt like I did really well I am being able to eat more normal food normalesque food like so it's been interesting for me to like say stop you know <laughs> when um, I haven't to the point of making myself feel sick or anything like that but I definitely have had to catch myself um like oh okay now I'm full and then I have to like stretch out like I'm like uh you know trying to make room in my stomach for it whatever I've eaten so I have started yesterday anything that I eat I eat in two ounce increments um, I put it on my scale, two ounces out, and um, I just will eat that uh, a little more frequently, you know, because I'm having, 
I'm kind of at the point where it's a little difficult for me to get all my calories in. Once I, no I noticed once I start upping my calories uh, about to 800 roughly, um, the scale started to move more. Um, so I think that it's going to help them work a lot. So measuring out two ounces of whatever protein, snack, in some form, and just eating frequently throughout the day is just going to be my key to um, managing and uh, continuing to lose weight. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else, anything else that's new or crazy, but no, no, can't think of anything. I'm still trucking along, learn to measure my food out, doctor went well, I don't have anything else coming up right away health-wise. Oh, oh, my first, um day of doing my couch 5k I did yesterday Ooh, I almost spaced out on that it went really well those of you who follow me on snapchat at the Dolly Lola I posted live snaps from before and after my run and my thoughts about my run but um, I definitely felt winded after my um, first run and definitely during those one minute blips where we had to run I felt like I was going to die my heart rate got up to about 175 during the jogging and I wasn't jogging fast I'm just not conditioned right now for that kind of running but I will be and that's what the whole program is about is learning to grow and push your body to that point of um, being able to run a 5k continuously and my goal is maybe by the end of the nine weeks see where the nine weeks in and schedule myself um, to a 5k and just find one locally there's always one going around I don't want to walk a 5k so I don't want to start a 5k right now because I know I can't run the whole thing but I'm hoping at the end of this nine weeks I will be able to and I'd like to do a couple and then start getting lengthier ones someone mentioned a half marathon that Disney does that's a possibility um, but that's in January of next year I'm not sh quite sure if I'll be and half marathon ready but we'll see um, I don't know but I'm gonna stay optimistic and and positive about everything so yeah I didn't die and tomorrow I'm starting like squat challenge with another Facebook book group squat and planking um, oh, possibly push-up but I'm going to do a reformed girl push-up or push up on the wall because I just can't I don't have any upper arm strength in that area um, or shoulder strength that will let me do that right now I will even when I was in top top shape years ago I couldn't do regular push-ups and I believe there's a sit-up challenge I'll see how my belly feels with that I think there's like four and that they're starting it doesn't start tomorrow it starts on the 29th in the group and uh, I see how I'll start with that but um thank you everybody for subscribing to my channel um give this video a like for me I would really appreciate it and I'm loving all the comments and I try and get back to everybody and um and follow up with you guys it's so wonderful I'm loving the relationships that have been budding and brewing on on YouTube it's been really neat and fun so I'm gonna let you guys go and I will catch you next week Mwah. bye